Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some more European Universe 4 with the 1.19 Denmark patch as Castile. We want to form Spain and do a whole bunch of different stuff. Right now, we're fighting Aragon to a standstill in a war. They tried to take over Navarra. We're not going to let them have it. Let's go and keep playing. So, uh, we're going to siege down basically these two, these two provinces here. And, oh, wow, what the hell? Are you fucking serious, man? How do you have this many men? What the fuck? Ah, oh, this guy's annoying as shit. You actually gonna lose that regiment there? No, no, we're not. We're not going to lose. Maybe. Maybe we're gonna lose. We have 35, um, war score. However... Yeah, this is, uh, this is ridiculous. Navarra is not going to peace out, basically. That's that's what's going on. Is he's being a, a greedy son of a bitch. White peace between England and Scotland? Curious. England tried to get a union over France. That's not going to happen. Cardinal, minister, 10 prestige. I'll take it. Portugal wants military access. So I'll go ahead and give it to them. Provence is at war with Portugal now or something. The Renaissance has now sprouted up. We're going to go ahead and smash that stack. That's got to be the end of Aragon's army. What is this? They still have 7,000 men lying around somewhere. Like, come on. Come on. That, N N Naples isn't even helping out with this war. Like, I don't understand. How long do I have to fight this guy? Navarre, come on, man. What are you doing? I don't own any forts, so we can't really demand much. Oh, wow. Come on, man. He's going to attack here now, most likely. Um, I don't even have a leader at that position, actually. We're going to be reinforced, I think. He just got tech four. He just got tech four. I'm literally about to get it from like a month from now. I can't even retreat from this position. You're kidding me. We're going to go ahead and take this tech. Oh, wow. If it was not for Navarro's troops, we would have absolutely lost that engagement. Let's go and see if I can dislodge. Ugh, we're going to take a stability. Dude, what is going on? We're getting some pretty crazy beginning events here. This is not how I imagined this campaign would go. Uh, technology, cost, missionary strength, stability. We're going to lose some stability. It's going to happen. I'd rather take the technology cost for the stability. We have 7.82 war exhaustion. Holy crap. Uh, we're gonna probably blow up that fleet. Yes, cool. Navarro, I'm serious. I'm serious. You need to leave. You need to end this war. You need to leave this war. We need to be done with this. I'm tired of it now. I'm, I'm seriously considering like a white piece or something. But I know that Navarro would be just destroyed if that was to happen. So I really can't afford Navarro to be gone. I need them to be here. Um, we're still going to win that even with inferior forces, to be honest. We don't have any morale or anything. Snack wipe. We're on speed four right now. Let's go ahead and recall a diplomat from Austria. Austria, Portugal. Those are my allies. Very nice. We have um, a Habsburg heir, if I remember correctly. Felipe, he's a 256, so he's pretty good. I wouldn't mind having a Habsburg on the throne. I think that's that's fine with me. Um, this guy still does not have... Wow, yeah, this guy doesn't have any sort of... Um... Come on, we have 58% war score. How long do you want this to continue, my friend? Do I have any siege value on my king? No, I don't. Well, at least we beat Aragon now. Um, it's actually funny because historically Aragon was actually the stronger of the two nations. Castile was actually um, very underpopulated. Yeah, call for peace. No shit. Call for peace. War gold, defender controls, Nafaroa. I don't understand why he hasn't peaced out yet. I don't get it. I'm not the war leader. I can't peace out for him. You know? 
Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's plenty of war exhaustion. A little more won't hurt, right? So my plan was to be quite peaceful, take out Granada, ally Portugal and Austria, and maybe get the uh, Burgundian secession. But no, I guess that's not going to happen. Aragon does not want that to occur, does he? I've lost all my manpower, all my money. I've got no regular troops. These are all mercs right now. I'm bleeding money. I'm just hemorrhaging cash. Uh, there actually is a lot of loot that I can have here, though. 21% on this occupation. We're going to be near 100% war score after this if we if we get this within the next couple months. Navarro, you can't be serious right now. You're way more trouble than it's worth. Look at that. 76,000 men. 75,000 men died. Aragon will end their overlordship over Naples. Really? Oh, shit. That actually was not what I kind of wanted to happen. Navarro, you suck, man. Go ahead and be my vassal. Really? After all that, he gets rid of the of the Union over Naples. That does not help me because I could have gotten the Iberian Wedding and that would have included Naples in this campaign. This makes things like infinitely worse. I might even have to restart here. Yeah, we'll keep going. Oh well. Did you know your treaties with uh, with France? He didn't even annul the treaties? Oh, look at that. There's a Fidel Val wall on the throne of Aragon. Well, that's nice. Oh, man. This is just not how I intended for the, any of this to go. And apparently, uh, Provence is occupying... Oh, yeah, England's actually beating the crap out of Portugal. Wow. Burgundy declared war in Provence for excommunicated ruler. No, Aragon, you don't get nothing. You dirty bastard. Well, this was quite a war. We're going to go on speed four here for a little while. We have some heretics. We have plenty of war exhaustion to go around for everybody. This little bastard here, this guy. I might be able to inherit him. He might just, like, get annexed by me instantly. That'd be pretty cool. I cannot engage Morocco or Granada at this point in time. Maybe a little later. We can actually fabricate claims on Morocco. We're going to be attacking them sometime in the near future. I need some manpower, so... I need some regulars. I also do need ships, although I want to pay back some of these loans first before anything else happens. I'm considering going to speed 5, but I guess we'll just be at peace for now. Uh, England will see Laborde, Bordeaux, Maine, and Cao to France. England will renounce their claims on Armagnac, and England will pay 85 ducats, and some... Yeah, that's the restoration of the Union, Casas Bully. And Provence will renounce their claims on Maine. Provence will end their overlordship over Lorraine. Hungary has laid claim to the throne of Naples. Are you... Are you kidding me? There's a Von Habsburg on that throne. Look at that. That's cool. What if I allied Naples? Actually, that would be interesting. Um, a personal union would be would be kind of cool because, like, I have a de Trastamara on the throne. This is a the Deval Wall dynasty. Von Habsburgs are here. If I get my Habsburg on as my heir, which will most likely happen, I can actually start kind of you know personal unioning everybody around here. Uh, Pedro Azd PT, hello there in the Twitch chat, and welcome. Very nice to meet you. France has claimed the throne of Aragon. Oh my God, that is real. That just happened. I can't guarantee this guy's independence, right? Yeah, he's far too rich and powerful. Legit, there might be a personal union right here. That's that's pretty bad. That's not good. That is not good at all. I mean, we're going to lose the Dead Trust Tomorrow uh, dynasty in here anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Broke military lines with Portugal. He's um, he's actually, looks like he's he's working for an attack here. Looks like that's how he's maneuvering. Uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay, so, um, there's going to be some sort of war between France and Aragon. This guy probably wants my protection. If I was to get him to positive stability. Secession war between France and Portugal. Between France and Portugal? Are you kidding? Let's go and get him to positive relations. I'm going to see what happens there. 
Austria is a really good buddy of mine. We're going to be having Habsburg on the throne. Curious. What's with Burgundy? Huh, yeah, that's curious. Um, yeah, this is gonna be weird, man. I don't think we can actually get the Iberian Wedding anymore. We we're not gonna get the Burgundian Secession here, so basically everything that I wanted to do as far as my achievements now probably don't work in this campaign. I mean, I'm considering a restart, to be honest. Um, trying something else out, but at the same time, I'm having fun. So why why should we restart if I'm having fun? Um, let's just see how it goes, because I can actually still accomplish a lot of like the colonial um, achievements that I want, so it's not all bad. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll stick it out. Actually, yeah, that's probably fine. We can stick it out. Protect some trade in Sevilla. Any more transports, more lights, and some more heavies. At this point, I probably should try and annex um, Aragon myself. Yeah, they actually have a mission to conquer Naples. Curious. Burgundy's now great power. We are losing our great power status. Where is the Renaissance? Where did it sprout up? Wow, actually right there in Sicily. Curious. <clears throat> okay, um, how's our war exhaustion? It's getting better. 5.19. We have no more debt, I don't believe. I could actually even debase the currency if I wanted some cash. Let's go and take this Diplotech, where we want this military tech here. Does anybody else have it? Let's go ahead and check that real quick. Does anybody else have, like, Tech 5? Florence does. The Ottomans do. Holy crap. <laughs> curious, curious, curious. I got a question by Miguel765 in the Twitch chat. What is the goal of this playthrough? Basically, be Spain and conquer everything. Um, well, I wanted to actually be the Holy Roman Empire, uh, Emperor. I also wanted to get the Burgundian Secession. I wanted to... Let's see, what else I want to do? I have to get some Clono Nations in the New World, so that's something that we can definitely do. Right now, though, it doesn't look like the Iberian Wedding is going to come our way. Maybe a union with Portugal. That'd be pretty cool. But also perhaps unlikely at this point. We're going to get a Habsburg on the throne, which means we're not going to have the same dynasty as some of these other guys. Which makes things difficult for us. You know, and cancel that... Uh, I have some troops now. I can probably train up some regulars. We need... Honestly, I might even go for like 8 cav. 8 cav is awesome. Especially this early on in the game. It's really, really strong. Mm. Devalois. What is... Let's see. Dispute of Secession. Aragon, you have minus 55 prestige. What about France? Minus 13 prestige. So if I get a royal marriage with this guy, I'm most likely going to get an heir on the throne. A royal marriage. Let's try that, maybe. That might work. Maybe instead of attacking Portugal, I just make them my friend. It's possible. They are my rival right now. Or apparently they rival Portugal, which is weird. That's really strange. Um, if this guy dies, he's 25 years old. If he dies, we actually get a secession war between France and Castile. Ooh, that'd be a big one. That'd be cool. Let's see the levy. I'd love this, but 82 ducats puts me right back in debt, which I don't want to do, really. You bastard. I need the prestige, though. I'm going to have to take it. I need to go into debt. I don't have a choice at this point. <clears throat> See, I got a question in Twitch chat. Isn't Dave Valois of Savoy's dynasty? That No, no. Savoy has actually always had its own dynasty. That's actually, in fact, where that name comes from. Savoy is of the de Savoy dynasty in, in Italy. De Valois has always been French, actually. It's a break off from the uh, Capetian dynasty that ruled for a long time. They've, they've been in power in France for, or they were in power in France for hundreds of years. Yeah, it was De Valois and eventually it actually became Bourbon from uh, this region here. Valois is, uh, I'm not sure if it's, if it, is, there, is there a province named after them? There might be somewhere, I probably have to look it up. We're gonna go ahead and get this military tech five men at arms, longbow, We've got some infantry shock, some combat with mercantilism. Yeah, sure, for the 25 diplo, I'll take it. That's fine. I can go for longbows, I think. Um, I like Galaglay. Yeah, actually, we'll try Galaglay. How about that? What about Latin knights? Um, I'm actually gonna go for Chevauche for the shock. 
go ahead and get some, uh, we're going to get two more units of cav, and then the rest are going to be inventory. That's right, I do have to pay back that loan. We will get that in a minute, though. I wish I could claim this guy's throne, but we have to have the same ruling dynasty as them. So, if if his king does die, which truthfully is unlikely, but if he does die, ooh. What the hell? Second Neapolitan Secession War? Oh my god! Naples is under a personal union with Hungary. And France contested it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this! Look at this, guys! Look at this! This is curious. Brittany and Scotland would join this war. Portugal would actually assist me. I should totally attack Par uh, French France right now. What can I do to them? Under humiliate rival. Monetary reparations, annulment of treaties, and transfer 50% trade power. That's not really all that powerful for anything. Ooh. It's, it's, cur it's tempting. It's tempting. I might. Damn, I want this guy to die. Aragon, please, you, can your king die? Yeah, I want, so what I want is I want Aragon's king to die so that I can get my ruler on the throne. Oh, dude, I would get a personal union if this happened. I, I need to get this guy to die. This guy needs to die. That would just be like, awesome. Uh, we're no longer great power, actually. That sucks. That sucks big time. Curious. Curious. We're actually going to be at full maintenance. We might attack uh, Morocco right now. Um, What's up with this guy? I want to take Granada. Lisboa. Actually, I don't need any privilege to Portugal. I think we're fine. I don't think we're at risk of um, any shenanigans. I need some money right now. So I think we're going to go ahead and attack Granada. We have better tech and everything, so we should be uh, just fine. Let's actually wait for this admin tech so we can core all of this territory. Let's see here. I got a uh, suggestion in the Twitch chat. Attack France and get them to transfer some trade power as well as money. It's not a bad idea, but I think they might be a little too powerful for me to take on my own, especially with like Scotland and some other allies. Brittany is also a problem. Brittany is actually pretty powerful. This small little nation here is actually very, very rich. So it's something that you have to watch out for. Damn it, will you die? Maybe. Maybe he will. Curious. Damn, Naples has got a has got a personal union with Hungary, and they're all this is all Habsburg, man. Do you realize that if Austria has the most prestige out of anybody that's a Habsburg? He might very well get personal unions on damn near everybody. That's incredible. I mean, he, like, Austria is just designed to get really good unions and stuff. Holy crap, man. Okay, we have uh, 11 infantry, 8 cav. We're going to go ahead and attack here in Garnada. We're going to try and take all this. Morocco will join. I might call in Portugal. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I do want some more claims, though, but I'm actually going to go ahead and take a quick break here, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment.